Like it's like it says it's it like biro on corned beef. Yeah. <laughs> Rumpel spam skin. That's <laughs> what I've got going on. It's my vibe. But the band philosophy, in all seriousness, is bully me all the time. It's probably yeah, bully Sam. No, it's uh, I reckon it's probably like rock like <laughs> there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Oxford is the place where we live. Uh, <laughs> Oxford is full of um, it's it's kind of, there's this real big divide in Oxford. There's there's normal people and there's sort of like dilettantes and, and, and literati and but you don't, and really you don't see ever them. see them. But but you can you can sense their their uh, condescension they're, they're permeating they're through the, the walls, shadows, like come, sniggering at you, like pushing out of the quad. <laughs> They've got nicer architecture than everyone else because you're not allowed to see those bits. Yeah, they've got magic gardens. Yeah, they've like fairies and that. Garden. There's unicorns and they've got a griffin. We never, we never, we were the never. The air's cleaner and it makes them smart because they get to breathe that one. That's the only reason. <laughs> it's we like a, it's like a lottery draw of who's going to get into Oxford. And then once <laughs> you start breathing the air, you're going to get good grades. <laughs> we were never high enough achievers, you know. To be, afforded <laughs> to be afforded the opportunity to like check out these griffins and that. Uh, we're on tour with Foles at the minute. We've known those guys since they were at school, since we moved to Oxford. They used to practice at our house uh, in their band, the Emma Fitzgerald, because <coughs> they had nowhere else to practice. So they practiced in our garage. And uh, yeah, then I was in Foles for a bit and he put out their first record. Yeah. yeah.
such place Your time is your own England, oh my England There's no such place There's a good music scene in Oxford, and like there's a lot of bands and um, bars and um, boys and girls. We pretty much can't afford to live there any longer, though. So um, yeah, it's expensive. It's expensive. It's expensive. It's expensive. Yeah. It, it takes more than it gives back. It's a, one of the one of the good things about Oxford is it's really easy to get out into the countryside <laughs> and see a field with some corn and a lake. <laughs> And all of those things are you close enough by because it's so small. Lake. And it's really close to London, which is good. And Reading, which is awesome. Reading is sweet. Wantage, that's the place to be. <laughs> <laughs> well, the single's called The Naughtiest Girl is a Monitor. The story behind the song is, wow, it's not so much a story as just sort of like a bunch, oh. of, a bunch of jumbled up vibes. <laughs> 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 no, it's like, it's like, um, uh, it's, it's just about uh, sort of being young and stupid and um, thinking that you, you're falling in love with, with people and things when, when you're actually just hormonal. Yeah.
My side project is um, plosives, and it's sort of like a really, really self-indulgent talking over music. <laughs> spoken yeah. word, just call it spoken it's word. Kind of, yeah, it's, it's kind of spoken word. Um, simple as. I mean, yeah, simple as is spoken word. Sam also plays in a second band called John Quill. Yeah. And Al has a record he, label called Try Harder. You heartily, we heartily recommend. Yeah. It was always a pretty natural, na it wasn't ever something that we questioned. We didn't think, oh, right, we're a band, so we have to write songs and they have to be so long and we have to call them this because it's pithy and, uh, and, and we'll just do it the natural route. It was always just, you know, we did, we did film soundtracking because be it fun. was something we were equally as interested in and we didn't want to just pin ourselves down to the floor. In 2008. In 2008. We'll yeah, find so ourselves in more debt than yeah. 2007. But have more fun doing yeah. being in debt. <laughs> Do, I, I, I've been doing being in debt for ages. I haven't. I I'm... live with my mother. <laughs> <laughs> we live off five pounds a day, and it pretty much means you choose one meal. So you've got to choose carefully. Today, today we're, we're, having, we're having lunch because you guys got us up really early. Yeah. Uh, but tomorrow we'll probably have dinner. We like to shake it around. <laughs> Sometimes we have breakfast <laughs> for lunch. <laughs> and then, and then like, lunch and dinner can be anything, can't they? You could have a steak for lunch or dinner, curry or whatever. At, at the moment we don't really need dinner because we're eating all of Foles' rider. Yeah.
Rumpel Spam skin.